Good morning. It is Saturday, March 4th, the only day that is a command. So today, obviously it's Saturday. This is the first video in this vlog. No, this is not the beginning of my week. This is actually the end of the week. I have not run once this week, nor will I run this week, and I'll get into that in a second. But first, I have a new Nespresso pod. So this is the caramel cookie or caramel for those that pronounce it that way. Caramel cookie, so I'm gonna give this a try and give it a rating. So full disclosure, I have actually been drinking this for the past few days, and let me tell you, I do not like this at all. I'm not super into the flavored coffees. Now, I will add creamer, because I think creamer is actually good in coffee, but like caramel cookie, like adding the flavoring to the, to the pot or to the grounds, I don't love that. There's some good hazelnut stuff that I like, but this, not very good. It just like, I don't know, it, it tastes dry. I don't know if that's an official coffee drinking tasting term, but it's almost like if you burn your tongue and then you like try to taste something afterwards, it has that kind of like dry scratchiness. That's what this is. I really do not like this. The flavor's not good. It's not very strong. It's just not good at all. So I'm gonna give this a D. It is drinkable, so it's not an F. Like an F is like, I can't drink this anymore. I'm gonna go pour this out. I am going to save this coffee by adding a little bit of creamer, which that is way better. But yeah, this is a D. Um, check out the link in the description. I have a blog that I posted where I show all the ratings. Cheers. So like I said, I have not run at all today. Um, it snowed last night. We had another blizzard. Um, so I couldn't run on Friday. I didn't run this morning because it's like, it's really thick snow. It's kind of icy. It's unshoveled. I just don't feel like dealing with it. I wasn't feeling good at the beginning of the week. I'll get back at it next week. So instead of having a vlog where I talk about like the runs I'm doing, six miles easy, you know the deal, I'm just going to do a little bit of behind the scenes stuff. So a technical thing, I switched from Adobe Premiere Rush to Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you're unfamiliar with video editing software, Adobe's main product is Premiere Pro. It's used by like professionals and it's, it's their main thing. They also have a version called Adobe Premiere Rush, which is kind of like the starter pack. It was fine for a while. I use, I've used it for about the past two years, really since I started making videos, but there are a couple things that I started to notice that got really annoying, one of which is it's all like through the cloud. So all the like documents and files are all saved through the cloud, which means it's really, really slow. Especially if I have video that's from my GoPro, which is in 4K, um, it just takes forever to edit stuff. It was getting frustrating. I thought it was my computer for a long time that couldn't handle uh, the, the program, but it was actually Adobe Premiere Rush. So if you're doing like, lower quality, shorter videos, maybe like off of your phone and kind of editing them together and you want some effects and some titles and put some sound behind it. Premiere Rush is pretty good, it's a little bit cheaper, but if you're doing anything that is remotely complex, Premiere Pro, I'm still like learning it because there's just like so much going on. I'm sure I'm doing things the wrong way, but fortunately there's like a million tutorials on YouTube. So since I'm not running this week, I'll just give a recap of my February. I've talked about this a million times in my vlogs, but. December and January were like really good weather. It didn't snow very much. It was in like the 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 high, mid, low 30s, which meant there really was no ice, which is kind of my biggest, my biggest fear is like slipping on ice and breaking my arm. So it was pretty good. And then February has just been all over the place. We've had a couple blizzards, we've had an ice storm, we've had warm weather, we've had cold weather. Not the most fun February. However, I did run a decent amount, so I'm pretty happy with that. I just want to stay like in relatively good shape when warm weather comes around so that I don't go on my first like eight mile run and just feel like blood in my lungs. February was fine, just kind of boring to be honest. I'm, I'm getting sick of the weather. I'm getting sick of running in the dark and the cold. I'm just ready for like the day when I can get up and it's like 6.30 in the morning and the sun is coming up and it's warm and I can wear a t-shirt. Like I, if you live in a warm weather area, enjoy it because it is not so fun getting up in the dark and the cold and making sure that there's no ice on the ground so that you don't slip and break your elbow or your neck. So then looking ahead to March, I wanna increase the mileage a little bit. I wanna run in some different places because it's just getting kind of boring filming Royal Oak, Michigan. The other thing I'm looking at, speaking of shoes, is I, I got my eye on a couple couple different brands that I haven't run before. So um, Asics and New Balance, I've seen some great things about their sort of ultra cushion shoes. So I do, I do want to try those at some point, but I do want to like run through my current stock 
of Invincible 2 and Invincible 3s. I, I'm running right now in three different pairs. I have an Invincible 3 and then two pairs of Invincible 2s that I have about 200 miles each in. So, so I wanna get about 300 total miles in all of those before I get something and run in something new. So we'll see how that goes. I'll probably be able to get through that in the next few months. But um, yeah, that's my March. I don't know, I'm just hoping for better weather. Again, kind of disappointing that I didn't run this week, but it just kind of, Kind of how it worked out. I just posted a video about why Richard Hamilton, NBA player, Detroit Piston, is the greatest NBA runner of all time. I have three reasons why, so check that video out. I'm very excited about that. That's the kind of stuff I wanna make more of is not necessarily like documentary style, but like, I don't wanna do all shoe reviews. So I wanna find interesting stories and sort of tell them in my own way and kind of mix in my own opinion. So this is sort of my one of my first attempts at that. So let me let me know in the comments what you think about that. Check that video out, it's on my, on my channel right now. So um, I don't know, that should be it. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon.